Ah, Ray. What? Oh, oh, it's just going to be grand. Take a picture. Take a picture. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, did you get my text? I did. And the voicemails and the DMs. I was almost expecting a handwritten letter to show up in the mail. If that would help greenlight the WCW reunion show, then I'd do it. Look, I heard you already have Rey Mysterio on board, and obviously he can still go. But what about the other former WCW guys who aren't really active anymore? Okay, so what if I bring in another former WCW star and have a match against them on Raw to prove to you this can work? Okay, fine. I'll be watching. But if I'm not impressed then, then it's off. No more texts, DMs, or letters. Deal? I promise, you won't be disappointed. God, I don't like Mandy Rose. Just seems to be a complainer. Don't, don't do this. No, I don't agree. No. Just shut up. Alright. Expert. He's a two-time Hall of Famer ready to make a little noise. Damn. Didn't think it'd be him. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a too sweet treat for you. One of your favorite WWE superstars faces off against a two-time Hall of Famer from DX and the NWO. I couldn't believe it when I heard X-Pac was back tonight. Well, the man looks like he's in the best shape of his life. I wouldn't want to face X-Pac back in his WCW days, and I sure as hell wouldn't want a piece of him now. Ouch. No. Belly to belly suplex. Looking for an early pin. He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pin. Oh, man, what a boot. Bloody killing you. Right in the grip. He could do it here. Come on. I knew it. Lost it all there. Ooh, that was close. I win. Come on. Executed. That's gonna keep X Pac down. Ah. That was fun. Here is your but I win. The masked man. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. Oh, shut off. <laughs> oh, this yeah. This should be very interesting. All week long, you've heard about a huge announcement I'd be making tonight. And now the time has finally come. You might be able to guess what it is based on the men who are gathered in this ring and those giant steel letters. But let's make it official. 
in the very near future, there's going to be a special one-night tribute show to the men and women of World Championship Wrestling. And it's going to be called WCW One Night Nitro. That's right. Raw is now where the big boys play. <laughs> I just want to say it's truly an honor to be a part of helping put all of this together. And I can't wait to pay tribute to the legends in this ring and many more who influenced my career. Now, with that being said, I'd like to... Oh, you're kidding. Huge news with the announcement of WCW One Night Nitro. But apparently, AJ Styles has something to say about it. Whatever it is, it must be urgent. Here we go. Let's see what he has to say. Sorry to crash the big party, but I just wanted to say I'd love to be a part of this reunion show, too. Apparently, you forgot I spent a few months in WCW before it went out of business. Oh. No slight intended. I was actually planning on reaching out to you. Just wanted to make sure we save room on the card for some of the more well-known WCW stars. <laughs> well-known, huh? I, I mean, well-known in WCW. Not in general. Like you said, you were only there for a few months. But I'm sure we can work this out. Let's talk more later, all right? Yeah, sounds good. I'll let you get back to it. As you can see, this show is so big that everyone wants to be a part of it. Now stay tuned to the WCW hotline. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> stay tuned to social media for more information on WCW One Night Nitro. We never thought we'd see this moment. WCW will return for one night only. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa wait. Styles with the chair shot. He's oh. not waiting to talk about this later. What AJ the hell? Styles clearly felt disrespected hey, yo. tonight. And now he's taking it out on all the WCW legends. And down goes Booker T. Kevin Nash can't stop hey. AJ either. Oh, my God. Mysterio off the top. No. And Styles dumps Ray to the Oh, outside. my God. Okay, maybe this will be a fair fight. Oh. Come oh, on, man. Oh no. AJ setting up for the Styles clash. No, no, no. No. Oh god. Down onto the steel chair. This Ow. was supposed to be a moment to celebrate the legends of WCW, but AJ Styles did everything in his power to ruin that. Oh, just this is pathetic meant to be happy. This seems to be about more than just being excluded from the event. There's something else going on here. Oh, come on. And one more disgraceful act to close out an all-around shameful night for AJ Styles. I will get my revenge. No one makes me look like a fool. Come on. Yeah. Ugh. God. I knew it wasn't going to be happy. All week long, I've been getting messages on social media. Why, AJ? Why did you take out the WCW legends? Why did you ruin One Night Nitro? Well, here's the answer. At first, I was slightly offended I wasn't considered for the show. After all, like I said, I was an actual wrestler there. Unlike the super fan wannabe putting it all together, who never stepped foot in a WCW ring. More on him in a second. But then the more I thought about it, I didn't want to be a part of bringing back and honoring the egotistical, greedy dinosaurs who slept walked through their matches just to collect a fat paycheck, putting the company out of business, and nearly killing my career before it ever got started. In fact, it was so bad down there, when they first offered me a contract, I turned it down and took a job delivering water because it paid more. Because all these so-called legends were flying around in private jets with their guaranteed contracts, wrestling four times a year, and there was no money left to pay guys who actually wanted to be there. Ultimately, I ended up going to WCW for three months. 
and it was way worse than I thought it would be. Every decision from the top guys was made to hold back the younger, more talented wrestlers like me. Finally, it all caught up to them and the company folded. I had to go back to the Indies and work my butt off to make it to where I am today. But I'm the exception. Most of the younger WCW guys from that era, like my old tag team partner, they never made it. So that's how I remember WCW. Not as this company that beat WWE for a short time or part of this over-glorified golden era of wrestling, but a sinking ship that almost took down AJ Styles with it. Uh. So that's why I did what I did. I shut down the embarrassing tribute show before it ever happened, and I'd do it again 500 times. So let's circle back to the guy who started all this. You were just a fan when all that with WCW went down. You had no idea what really happened. But in my eyes, that almost makes you worse than the so-called legends you put on a pedestal. You're supposedly a WWE superstar now, so act like it. This isn't your time to play fantasy WCW. It's embarrassing. So you want to talk about destroying me for yeah. what I did? Yeah. Remember, WCW already tried that, and they failed. So I'm going to do a favor for every man and woman in that locker room who has any actual respect for what we do and destroy you. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> That's your biggest mistake, fool. Bring it, AJ. <sighs> This is going to be grand. Gentlemen, I've got to admit, though, I do like his music. Something phenomenal. Here's a man who can do it all and has done it all in short order here at WWE. Maybe the greatest in ring competitor of this generation. Here we go. The man who attempted to bring you one night Nitro gets his chance for revenge against AJ Styles, who crashed his party last week. What a disgraceful display from the phenomenal one. But that's what we've come to expect from AJ Styles. See, I think AJ Styles must have learned something from his old job delivering H2O because he poured a bucket of cold water on the WCW reunion show and every uh. legend who thinks they can waltz back into the ring whenever they want. There's repercussions for that. Like this match tonight. Oh, that can rock you. Able to prevent Styles' attack. Boom on the jaw. Knee right to the face. Punch lands. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Now, trampling the opposition. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Big kick. Shifts it back onto him. Ow. Kidneys. Golly. Screw you. Able to reverse that one. Oh. Is he attempting a Styles Clash? It's Finn Balor. Hey, what? What's he doing here? It seems Balor's attempting to help out his former club partner. He's Get out of here. Screw off. AJ Styles has a, a chair. Oh, no. The referee has no idea. Neither does his opponent. It's Kevin Nash. We haven't seen Nash oh, and Styles yeah. the WCW Legends a few weeks back. This is his chance for payback. Oh, oh Kevin wait. Nash just turned on his friend. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Are you serious? AJ taking advantage. What the hell? He's going to do it. Oh, not this again. He this and it's done.
Balor and the shocking actions of Kevin Nash. You've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. That was so close. Exactly is the relationship between these three. I'm not sure if Balor and Styles even know. Uh, it looks like we've just witnessed the birth of some kind of new NWO slash club type alliance. This is bad news for WWE. Oh, I agree. Nothing good can come from this. Boy. Oh, come on. Oh, all that and Kevin Nash ruins it. Come on, here we go, we got him. Hmm. Don't laugh. All right. Can I actually get him? Ah, oh, this should be fun if I've got Goldberg on my side. They're here. Oh yeah! The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 502 pounds, the Masked Man and Goldberg. No one ever thought he'd leave pro football, but when he experienced the rush of competing in the ring, his focus changed. Trading football cleats for wrestling boots was a bold move, but he's a natural competitor who's driven to reach the top of WWE. God, this is going to be great. God, I'm going to kick your ass. You are looking at a one-of-a-kind superstar. Former Intercontinental Champion, United States Champion, WWE Champion, plenty of hardware to back up his success. And their opponents first. All right. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself and his partner from gray county wicklow ireland weighing in at 190 pounds Finn Balor! this is a man who is already one of the greatest nxt superstars in history but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. Let's get this done. The WWE Universe has been in shock <laughs> ever since AJ Styles annihilated an entire roster of WCW legends. And things turned even darker when Kevin Nash joined forces with Styles and Finn Balor. They sure did, especially for the superstar originally responsible for the ill-fated One Night Nitro. Oh. That superstar will try to get even with Styles as he teams up with a WCW icon who's ready to fight back against this emerging alliance of outsiders. If they take them down, then AJ will be on the hook oh, for a one-on-one -on -one rematch. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. There's return fire on AJ. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. The end for AJ is looking inevitable here. Come on. 
Goldberg setting him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see the Jackhammer. Absolute devastation from Goldberg. Two. Oh. Here he goes for the win. And here's Balor forced out of the ring. Stopping the refs count. Really? This is where great cardio. Oh. Oh. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. This is it. Ha <laughs> ha. Here are Ooh. your winners. The Masked Man. And Goldberg. Goldberg closes the door for the team. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. Just the best. <laughs> but I feel like something's going to happen. Oh, here we go. God, this is going to be good. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from London, England. <laughs> you are looking at a one of a kind super. What started as an attempted tribute to WCW's larger than life legends blends here tonight between two superstars looking to leave their own marks on WWE. And they'll have to do it in a steel cage match, which means no more invited guests and no more uninvited guests either. After what we've seen recently, I'm not even sure a steel cage can contain this issue, but we're about to not allowing that to go on any longer. Saw that one coming. Oh, it's right to the side of the face. Firm control. Boom. Boom. Uh -oh. Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Close line. The end for AJ is looking inevitable here. AJ Styles looks like he's a step behind there. I win. Wait, what? No, no, no. No! Hits him with the counter. Wait, did I get that? Thank God, man. Is there anything you have to say about this? Oh, it's done. Nice. Oh, we've got another one now. Brent. And Robin? Why are you back here? Hmm. 
Well, we still don't have enough, but we will get there. Eventually. What do we have? Hell yeah, you did. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, we definitely did a lot. So especially due to the fact that we're in Raw. And we've got all these people to speak with. But I think I'm just going to leave it there for now, guys. Good night.